Hello, this is Monday, November 7th. This is Dr. Alifa Tippett. We are going to perform leech therapy today on a patient who does get leech therapy about every two weeks. These are our leeches here in their homemade leech hotel. You can see that, nothing special, just a sprout jar with special leech water in it. That's the water made with Harudo salt and distilled water. For this patient, we use six to eight leeches each time, scattered on his legs and hopefully on his hands too. He has hemochromatosis and needs periodic phlebotomies, which we use the leeches for that. Surprisingly, he has severe diabetic neuropathy and the leech therapy has helped his symptoms with that. So you will see in a minute here, we'll start the leech therapy. What are you doing, Brandy? I'm trying to get him to stick, but he's, he's like rolling around. He's, he's crazy. We got one on the left foot. Come on, buddy. So, do you know that they like company, so you're trying two at one time? Yep, to try to see if one will want to latch on this area that we want to. Come on, buddy. Josh's are going right in. <laughs> I'm not getting any blood over there. You didn't get blood over there, is that it? Because mm -hmm. what we found with this patient is the leeches can't make their own bite, they have to be enticed with blood. And as a diabetic, we still want the blood sugar to be high to encourage the leeches to take the blood. So our patient has eaten a snack this morning to increase his blood sugar. And he's tried to avoid his pain meds so he won't sedate the leeches. Okay, this leg over here is doing great. Our left leg's doing great. Right leg. Not so much. Josh, you want is your you have two latched? Looks like it. You wanna help Brandy over there? Because she's still Where'd working. Where'd the other leech go? You went under his calf maybe? <laughs> Fell off? Yeah, there, he is. there he is. He was trying to bite on the calf <laughs> the his <laughs> latching on the calf. Want to latch either? Mm -mm. What about your right leg? They don't want to latch. Leg's really cold. Is it the right leg colder than the left? Yeah. That's a big difference in me. Here's latch. No, even with the blood there. Hmm? I don't like this side for some reason.
day. He's biting. No, he's not. Out. Took a drink. I think we got the rogue one. Is he rogue? Mm -hmm. I think we need to find another one. He might. Eh, he acts like he kind of wants to go. Mm -hmm. How about yours, Josh? He's not cooperating with us. Huh. They don't like this left. right leg. Yeah, he did. Yay. Write his time down. Oh, there you push the top button. Looks like he's going to try. Nope. There he goes. Nope. <laughs> he digs in and leaves. Yeah, I'll try to push all more blood out. See if you can entice him. Come on, there's a lot of blood there. Let's go. Got it? Mm. No. Need another one to get some competition? Maybe. <laughs> or maybe try another spot, because we want two on each leg. Uh, I bet you the hands won't work today either. Okay, as you can see, we're still working to get our leeches attached. Our patient's blood sugar was only 121, which is low and not enough to really encourage the leeches. We gave him some Reese's pieces to see if that would help boost, <laughs> boost their interest. From this, you can see how difficult it is to get the leeches to latch on. So we use everything we can to try to encourage them. And here's trying to get some on the hand without much. Okay, now you see us supplying a few drops of leech water to each of these leeches. Their natural environment is in the water and now they're out of their natural environment. We find that they do better if we keep them as moist as we can with reapplication of a little bit of the water. Okay, this one's getting mighty close to being ready to come off. You can see the peristalsis. You can hear the, be the beetles in the background. We found that this really somehow calms or encourages the leeches. You can see how he's stretched out. A little bit of blood at the mouth. He should be letting go pretty soon. You see peristalsis up in that one too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very nice. I think they go in time to the music. <laughs> Did you get your belly full? There he is, just came off, and there's the bleeding that we want to see. The guy just, just fell off, and there's bleeding. The post-bite bleed is really the most important part of the leech treatment. We learned that from our Russian friends.
So we encourage the post-bite bleeding. I think he really likes the beetles. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone else doing okay? They look like it. I think they'd like to travel in wilderness right better. They probably gonna They be want a little more exciting music. Is that what you're saying? Well, no, the we'll travel in Wilburys. They're uh, 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 George Harrison from the Beatles is in that group. Here you can really see good peristalsis. And he's lengthened out. He'll be dropping off very shortly. And again, we'll want to see that post-bite bleed. Did you get your belly full? There he is. Just came off and there's the bleeding that we want to see. You are a movie star. Here, lift up the leg real quick. All right, all leeches are off now. How long did it take total, Brandy? Uh, about a uh, little less than an hour. Little less than an hour. They did pretty well, even though they didn't. They were slow to go. You can see we're looking at the post-bite bleeding. We will allow this to bleed for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll clean the sites up and bandage with gauze. Okay, here's our leeches that have all come off. You can see how full they are, and they're a little bit active. The FDA requires that we put them in alcohol to kill them, but that's a very harsh way, so we just let them slowly suffocate, and they die a more gentle death, but we do not reuse them. Now we've allowed our post-bite bleed to bleed for about 10, almost 15 minutes, and now we're going to clean the sites up and wrap wrap up. Brandy, can you just start with one leg and let mm -hmm. me document that? applying a telfa pad over the bite because without that the dried blood rips off and then an ABD over that to collect blood. Come. Okay here we are all wrapped up except we can't get the shoes on now so we'll have to work on that. What are we doing? Might just go like this. Okay we're bringing some post-op shoes to fit. To even walk to the car. Okay, I'll bring back. So how long will you leave these bandages on? Um, probably take them off this time tomorrow is what I use. 24 them. hours. Do they bleed through usually by then? Uh, generally I'll have one or two that bleeds through. Um, um, generally mo um, how long does that take for it to bleed through? Uh, sometimes by the time I get home, it's <laughs> through. It okay. Depends. I think you're bleeding more now than you used to when we first that started. Thing, with this one, I bled more than I think I've ever bled. A hand? My hand my okay. Right hand. What are you wrapping up now, Brandy? I'm sucking it over the other one. Okay, go ahead. So he's wrapped. The ABD pads, which we saw before, are now wrapped with gauze and putting stockinettes over the legs to hold them in place. You putting stockinettes on the hands too, or just letting those go as is? Yeah, if he, they're too tight, he has trouble uh, driving and stuff. So. Okay. I'm just going to leave it as is. 
All right, so this ends our leech session today. We'll do this about every two weeks, right? Yes, ma'am. Seems to be the plan. Okay, and you took your Cipro before we started, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's to go against the potential bacterial infection from a leech. So a Cipro dose before we start. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for letting us film. You're welcome.